Google VO3 music video tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're looking to generate amazing videos from images or just from a text prompt like these, and you are looking to build your own music videos, your own content, then you can easily do it with the help of VO3. And I'll show you guys exactly how. So to get started with using VO3, simply head on over to deepmind.google. Now there are two ways where you can use VO3. You can either try it in Gemini or try it in Flow. I'm going to proceed with trying it in Flow. Once you do that, you're going to click on create with Flow to open up a brand new tab, which is going to actually open up Google Flow from where you can get started with building using the VO3 model. Now you might say, hey, how exactly would I be able to create a music video? Well, first, I'm going to show you guys some of the other things we've created so you guys can see how you truly can build a music video. This was just an image which I converted into a video. This has been a text to video prompt. This was again a simple text to video prompt and it looks very hyper realistic. Then we have this also generated using VO2, this using VO3, and this was again a image converted into a video. So VO3 has the capability to create amazing hyper-realistic videos. When you are generating in VO3, you can build small clips and then expand them. So click on new project here to get started. Once you do that, you have two options on the bottom when you click on text to video. You can go with frames to video or text to video. So if you go with text to video and then click on the right, you have your settings. By default, VO2 might be selected. So you are going to go with VO3. You can use VO3 fast, which is text to video with beta audio or VO3 quality, which renders higher quality, higher resolution videos, but it takes 100 credits. Now, VO3 fast only takes 20 credits whereas vo2 fast takes 10 and vo2 quality takes 100 so we're gonna go with vo3 fast and the best part is is that because we are using our own music for our music videos we are not going to ask it to generate any of the audio for us instead we want it to show some people lip syncing so i want to create a music video where there's a girl singing in a bar and then i'm going to ask it to the girl is singing and i love you so okay let's say that's what she's singing she is white tall with long blonde hair wearing or she's just tall leave the race part out of this she's tall with long blonde hair because i wanted to generate a beautiful woman so that's why i'm just going to not provide it with too much detail with long hair wearing a tight maxi dress now once this generates this first clip you might say hey this is only going to create what two seconds of video three seconds of video how can this be converted into a full-fledged music video well just you guys wait and this is where flow really truly or vo3 really truly comes in handy because you have the ability to expand on your scene when you try to generate too many items too many complicated things within one scene it makes it very glitchy and very robot-esque so because of that reason, when you are providing a short description and you're not including too much movement in your initial prompt, then you're able to create more interesting results. So while that is generating, we are going to wait a couple of seconds for this to be completed and then we're going to move towards scene expansion. So right now our video generation has been completed and now this is what it looks like. So you guys can see this has created the first bit of our music video. Now, once it has created the first bit, I am going to proceed and I'm going to click on add to scene. So you're not going to start typing in the next thing you want to create. Instead, you have to click on add to scene on the top left. Now, what this does is that this takes into account the first scene you've created and it expands on it. So I'm going to click on again text to video and then I'm going to use VO3, the fast version with only one output prompt. You can generate multiple outputs, but that is going to use more credits. So I prefer to just go with one, especially because I want it to be as quick as possible. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe the next scene. The camera 
pans out and pans out and our singer is looking at a guy now i'm going to ask it to generate the next scene this is a very simple and short description the reason why you need to keep your description simple and short is because each individual scene cannot extend past eight seconds eight to nine seconds so if you try to add too many things in the first eight to nine seconds you're not going to be able to build a very good music video so we're going to wait and we're going to generate the next eight seconds and in this way, in short 8 second clips, you are going to generate each and every single element of this video without having to pay a single actor, a single studio, a single place to start shooting your music video. Now, moving forward, it has created our second scene and this is what it looks like. And now you guys can see this has glitched a bit because it has taken this and has made our person turn around to a stage so if you want continuation obviously we do want continuation because we are trying to make this a hyper realistic video you can click on this and you can choose to remove this particular scene you can click on arrange and then remove this click on done and then redo this so we can re-add our prompt where i want the camera to pan out and our main singer stops singing the crowd claps and she smiles so because i do want some consistency i'm going to redo this and let's take a look at the new output again this is why it gives you the option to create multiple outputs at once because when you are creating a singular output sometimes the out the output is not going to be as accurate as you might have wanted and when it's not as accurate as you might have wanted you're not going to use it so we're going to wait for the new prompt to see what type of results that will render. Now, like so, the new video or the new scene has been created. And again, because of the way that we have presented it, it has made it again a very different scene from our original background. So we might want to include some of the elements of our original background within this. Now, you can play around with this and experiment with this to start, you know, customizations and building and world building and scene building step by step so that your music video has a lot of consistency. Now, to get started with using VO3, you do need to have a Google AI Pro subscription, which is only $19.99. However, you can get the first month completely for free. You get a thousand monthly AI credits across Flow and Whisk, and you also have the Gemini app as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.